getting around to doing like my little mini review of the iPad so I know a lot of people have you know been curious about the iPad um, just to give you some background I am a lettering artist based in Los Angeles and I've been running my business for about five years now going on to six and I can only honestly say that I've never used an iPad the, the these this entire five years I've not used an iPad um, mostly because I couldn't afford it. It was just a really big investment and I was like, I don't even know if this is gonna improve like my business or even or if it's even gonna help it. But I started to see a lot of people using it and I thought, okay, maybe I should invest in one. And honestly, the main reason why I invested in one is because when I work on paper, it just takes a long time. So normally my process is sketching on paper, sending sketches to clients, then getting them back, getting revisions, making those revisions on paper, sending them back, um, and then digit and then scanning it to the computer, then digitizing it, vectorizing it in Illustrator, then going into Photoshop, adding color and textures. So it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. So I thought, you know what? This is taking a lot of time. So let me see if the iPad will be a great investment. So in, initially I went to go test it out. I thought, okay, this kind of feels like paper, but you know, I really need to buy it to really see. So I bought it. Um, it was $1,129 and that was including the pen, not the case, just the iPad and the pen. Um, and then I also got a screen protector and a case um, just because this is for my business, and I think if you're going to invest in things in t for your business, you should def you should definitely get stuff to protect it. Um, so I bought it, and I thought, okay, I need to buy Procreate. Procreate was $9.99, um, so I started using it. And I would say that, you know, my initial thing was like, will it speed up my process? Because, you know, using paper and doing that whole process of paper to computer to scanner to client, all of that stuff was very, it just took a long time. Um, and I think there's only special projects that ne that really need that. You know, there's also other projects that I could just do it on the iPad is what I thought. So after three months of using it, I would say these are my pros and cons. Okay, so the pros. I'll start with the pros. Well, number one, it absolutely makes my workflow much faster and much easier. That was the number one thing I wanted, and it definitely does that. Number one thing. Um, the second thing, it's super easy to travel with. So I actually walk to my office. I know that I it's pretty close. I, I have an office that we work, so I walk to my office. It's a block away, and I carry this one. So I just carry the iPad. I got the larger of the iPad Pro. So I got the iPad Pro. That's the newest one. I'll give you a view of it. So it's this one, the iPad Pro. And it's about the size of a piece of paper. So just a standard piece of white paper. There you go. It looks the it's the pretty much the exact same size. 
So I got this one and I thought it was super easy to travel with because sometimes I just have my iPad with me. Um, I carry it with me, you know, just to work, walking to work, and it's super easy, super light. Um, another reason why I love the iPad so far is because it feels like I'm actually writing on paper. So the biggest thing for me also was I don't want it to feel like I'm writing on like a tablet. I want to feel like I'm actually using paper. But I would say one thing. Um, I I when I first got it, I didn't have the screen protector, but I invested in a matte screen protector. So I don't know if you can see it kind of gets rid of the shininess and it makes it feel more like paper. So when I'm writing with my Apple pen, Apple pen, um, if, Apple pencil, when I'm writing with it, it feels more like the texture of paper. So I definitely recommend investing in an, in a matte screen protector. Another thing that I really like about the iPad is that I can work from anywhere so you know before when I'm working on paper you know it's kind of it's a little bit more of a hassle to carry around pencil and paper and erasers and sharpeners and markers and all that stuff so for me it's like okay sometimes I'm like you know I feel creative right now I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna you know do some lettering so that's really a real another really great part of it is that you can essentially do work from anywhere but I would say definitely get the larger size because it feels like more like a like a more like a kind of like a pad that you can write on okay the last thing that i really like about the ipad is that it produces the same quality of designs that i would produce on paper sorry for the noise <laughs> um so that was another really big thing is that i didn't want it to i didn't want to lose the quality of my designs because i was so used to working on paper that i thought okay working on the ipad it's just going to be a lot more difficult it's not going to produce the same amount same quality of work that i usually do and i think it is definitely i actually think it accentuates my my lettering and my my design and my style I actually think like the iPad accentuates it and again I'm using procreate okay so last part of this review um, so I just remembered somebody had asked me why is it so difficult to make procreate brushes um, and I would say it's really not it's really actually not that difficult um, I would be happy to do like a little mini tutorial on how to do it it's actually pretty simple surprisingly because when I first learned I was like whoa this is like really easy very simple um i guess the hard part would probably be probably be kind of like iterating and messing around with different tools in procreate to get the bright texture that you would like um so i would say it's not very difficult but i would be happy to teach a tutorial on it so overall i would say this the ipad pro is definitely an investment if you are a lettering artist pursuing full-time business doing lettering art I would say 120% get an iPad. Um, it really speeds up the process. It feels like paper. You're not gonna, you know, you're essentially creating the same quality of designs as you would on paper. But I would say do not depend on the iPad. All the time I think that a great way to, you know, spark your own creativity is to try different mediums. I love to go back to paper and I feel like when I go back to paper, I really improve my lettering by a ton. So I would say, you know, you know, definitely I would invest in it. Um, but if you're more of like, this is more of a hobby for you, um, I don't really think you necessarily need it, but if you want the experience of it, it's super fun. I really like it. It's a really enjoyable tool. So Procreate is a, a very enjoyable tool. Um, so I would definitely, you know, if you really have the money for it, invest in it. Um, and, and because it's so expensive, um, doing it for your business, I think is definitely an investment and you know, it'll, you know, it'll pay itself off, you know, once you're doing work with lettering. Um, but yeah, um, this is it. This is the iPad and I got the largest size iPad Pro. I got a, I got the OtterBox case um, and I would say very beautiful case. I love this case. I love that I can fold it back um, and then do lettering like this. Um, the iPad Pencil, it's magnetic and it charges on its own right here, which is pretty amazing. It's probably one of my favorite features just that I could just kind of put it there and it goes and charges. Um, and that's pretty much it. I would say this is my most used tool now I use this almost every day and now that I'm doing projects I am on my iPad um, but I'm still doing work on paper and pens using pens and doing paints and sometimes different clients want different things sometimes they want me to use paper which is totally okay but sometimes they want digital and I'm like this is the way to go so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment or um, direct message me I will happily um, respond and hopefully get your questions answered and please be on the lookout for maybe a future tutorial on the Procreate brushes.